What is up guys? Welcome to Fat Belly Fishing. Today we're going to be trying something brand new, something I've never done before. So this is going to be kind of a learning experience. We're trying a new product today. We're going to be trying to throw these tiny little glass metal like baits. They're 10,000 fishes shimmer shad, which I used the bigger one in one of my videos. I'll probably add that video at the end of this if you guys want to see the bigger one. Uh, we caught some flounder on it. But these things are like microscopic. This is really going to be a learning experience for me because I've never tried uh, this small of a bait or this style of fish. I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to use this bait and how we're going to work this bait so you guys can kind of learn with it and see if we can catch some big snook and trout and maybe even some redfish. All right, we're going to go catch some fat belly fish. I uh, just want to say we're getting close to the 4,000 subscriber mark. And a lot of you already know what we do. Every time we hit 1,000 subscribers, we pick one of you guys to come film and take out uh, for a video. Cost you guys nothing. Literally just comment and stay active on the channel. And we pick someone at random. So uh, let's go catch some. See if we can catch a fish on one of these little shimmer shads. I've caught some on the bigger ones. These things are tiny, but elephants eat peanuts, so let's see if we can get a big one on these. Just going to end up putting them on a uh, Z-Man finesse shroom. They're just basically a uh, little hook with a weight on it, really built for uh, Ned Rigs. I have never tried this before, so this is going to be a learning experience for both of us. These are actually made for uh, drop shots for bass. So let's see what happens if I put it on a Ned Rig for saltwater fish. That's what she's going to look like right there. So it's just going to basically be bouncing off the bottom. Look like a little minnow going by. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but let's give her a shot. So I ended up picking to fish this lure today because there's so many little minnows and glass minnows sewn around right now. So every bait that's going past me looks exactly like this little guy other than the other than the jig head. I think I think he's going to get crushed here. Like all my other soft plastics I use in my videos, I'm doing the same method just bouncing off the bottom. Since this is only a 1 6 ounce jig head, it's smaller um, than my 1 4th. So I'm kind of bouncing a little lighter so it's not like getting yanked out of the water. Just little taps like that. Oh, got a close one. Let's see. Let's see. A little trout. Huh. I knew if there was a trout in the area that he would have hit this lure here. Don't break my lure. There we go. There it is right there. It worked. <laughs> that little tiny bait there. So, there he goes. Bait's held up so far. What I think I'm looking at here is these fish got all this bait pushed up on this flat right now. It's a mixture of like little fry minnows like what I have tied on and uh, a lot of little greenbacks. So I think it's a mixture of trout and snook, maybe even redfish. Got them all kind of almost balled up. So we're going to work this flat and see what happens here. I'm trying to face against the wind for you guys, which makes me face away from the sun, which is not good. A ton of bait busting right here. They got them all schooled up on this flat. Let's see what happens. So I got a ton of bait right in front of me. I'm just going to cast past them. I'm like right on the outside edge of them. I'm going to try to work this in and see if we can't get a fish here. It's got absolutely thumped. I think it's a trout or it's a snook. If this is a trout, it's a really good trout. It's going to be a fat trout if this is a trout. It could be a snook though. He's shaking. Head shaking big time. Yep, snook. <laughs> to that 20 pound. All I felt was a big thump, and there he was. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. That's what Taylor Swift taught me. It's a cool little fish right there on the. Oh, he's not done. Don't break me off, please. Uh, he wants to go across the oyster bed. Go across the oyster bed. 
This fish is spunky. I knew the snook were gonna be out here with all this bait. I'm literally just crawling around like a little dancer right now. <laughs> She's doing circles around me. Decent little guy. I think he's probably, I don't know, 25 maybe. Let's see. Maybe not even that. Yeah, probably 25. Let's see if we can get him. He's healthy. Come on, don't be camera shy. It's in the corner of his mouth. As long as he doesn't spit it right here. As I say that, he'll probably spit it right here. And boom, there it is. Perfect hook job. Cool little snook right there. Yeah, he's probably about 25 or so, I'd say. Very cool fish. There's that, that bait right there. All right, I'm gonna pop that bait out. See if we can catch another. The Thumb Sucker 3000. You guys gotta get yourself one of these. I'm not even holding them, you just suck in my thumb. Bye, little buddy. Boom! That was a picture perfect scenario. That's exactly what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to draw up there. Usually never goes that smoothly, but we got a snook on the board. I'd have to say that snook kind of demolished it, so I'm going to replace it real quick. Get fresh bait on here. I just got clobbered. I think I got another snook. I just got clobbered, but it's shaking really weird. Maybe this is a jack. No. Definitely a strange one, but there's a mullet. <laughs> this is what's swimming around out here right now. Hook came out pretty easy. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to hook you. He's fine. He said, no problem, brother. Looks like a little snook right in front of me. Oh, there's a little bite. Little bite. Little bite. Little bite. What we got? What we got? Oh, trout. Trout. It's a better one. No. Little trout there. Oh, there it is. There's a little trout on the. What a beautiful fish. You get that release here. Just tight. Yep, there it goes. What? You gotta get your own fish, man. I can't just keep giving hands out. I can't. I can't help you. There we go. Oh, that was a trout. What the heck? He just clobbered that and jumped out of the water. Is this a fish? Oh, it's a flounder. Yeah, it's a big flounder. No, no, no. I didn't think it was a fish. I thought it was a freaking rock, bro. It was a giant flounder. Are you kidding me? It was a huge flounder. I thought, oh, I thought it was a rock. It wasn't swimming. It was right here. I was going like this and I was pulling it because I thought it was stuck on the bottom. Doormat, doormat, doormat. Ah! <laughs> this is a big one. I got him again. I got him again. This is a flounder pulling my drag. This is this is Mr. Matt. This is Mr. Matt. There he is. There's Mr. Matt. Mr. Matt is on. Come on, Mr. Matt. He's not as big as I thought originally, but that is a nice flounder right there. That is Mr. Matt. <laughs> The 10,000 fisher right there, jerk bait, freshwater bait, I'm pretty sure, but it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I don't know how you see with the, uh, we brought this out because we thought it'd be humorous, but almost 17 inch flounder, good flounder. Like, isn't that cool? just walking along and boom OSHA violation <laughs> how quickly it changed colors too yeah look he yeah he did change colors didn't he he went from a darker one to he literally matched the bottom that is something crazy hey guys thanks for watching tight lines and a margarita good time as always if you haven't already subscribe to the channel